something that can give a nice structure in a certain content that you want to list or summon up is using a table. It will all be neatly structured. To insert a table or go to a new line, we can uh, click this button and a prompt pops up and it asks us how many columns. I will use four columns and I will use six rows. Cell panning, I'll leave that for now. I'll leave that empty. Alignment, I'll leave that. Border, I'll leave that. What is important is the width. If you want to use a width in pixels and say that you want to uh, only have 500 pixels, why do you just type 500? Often the case will be that you want it full width. Then the easiest thing to do is 100% because then it, no matter how wide your page, your table will always be the, the same width as your page. 100%, remember that. And I click on insert. As you can see, here is my table and it shows those lines um, to make it clear for us that there is a table. Those lines are not showing um, when we would look to the to the real website page. On the page you can also see that there's toggle guidelines. So this is exactly how it would look and I will start typing some elements here. And tables they um, how to say they 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 contain a lot. You as you as you could see uh, when I didn't have all the elements filled in and I remove something, you can see that some columns will um, change their width. To make the width consistent, I can select one and I can basically tell it to be a certain width. So in this case, I will use the uh, table cell property. As you can see here, all these items that are um, uh, part of when we're working with lists, when you hover over them, they will show you what they are. And in this case, I want the table cell property to have a width of 25%. I have four columns, so I want each column to be 25% wide. And by giving the top cell that width, the cells under that will also have that width. I'll do the same for this one. Make it a width of 25%. and do that for the third one a width of 25 percent I don't need to do the fourth because three times 25 75 so the fourth one will automatically be 25 and as you can see without having any content in that they all have a consistent uh, width right now and just filling it up and uh, say that um, You've saved this and all of a sudden um, uh, you'll need to add more rows. That's very easy. Here you have the insert row before, so that means it will be on top of it. And insert row after, so that's what I want. Insert row after and now I got an extra row there. You can do the same for uh, columns, insert column before insert column after. So the green is, is good. When I see the red, we always need to take care. I'll select the row here and it will then, when I click it, it will delete the row. And there are some other features like uh, split uh, merge table cells or merge table cells. Um, that way you can select for instance this and those items will then be merged. Uh, not a feature that you would want to use very often. So I will go back there. As you can see that's working with tables. Um, if for instance because I showed you that the table itself will not show borders, if you want borders I can then reselect that table and say that it has a border of 1 and then update it and when I then toggle it you will see that it really has a table border and when I want a certain table cell to have a, um, 
a background, I can go to advanced and select a certain background color. And as you can see, there's all kinds of color pickers. I will make it a lime green and I'll update that. And there you can see it has that color and what might be easier to do if you want a certain row to have a certain color, use the background color for the row itself. Oh, that was just plain white so you won't see that. Background color of the row. I'll make that this color, I'll update it, and there you see that it does a complete row at once. Uh, if I want to have that particular one cell to have a different color, I'm in that cell. And I'll make that a purple one. And as you can see, that's how you can uh, manipulate uh, cells in your table. So, a little bit more complicated than just typing up text, but same as in Word and Excel, you can use and make uh, tables in your editor.